<laughs> Take a ton takes. Hi right, everybody, welcome back to the channel, the main event here. And today we're gonna to be using one of the worst teams I have ever constructed for the global challenge. Battles will be timestamped below. So if you would like to skip ahead to those, feel free to do so. Otherwise, question of the day, what is the funniest global challenge tech you have run into or played against or used or just heard about or seen in a video somewhere? What's the funniest global challenge tech? Um, this team with Tornadus, Urchin, Fuwa, Chaladon, Max Calibre, Moonless, Tinkaton. Not a terrible team, but it's not great either. Um, it has like standard Tailwind stuff. It's actually a dark Urshifu. So the team kind of looks like a rain team, right? Because it has the Archaladon. Um, but it doesn't have the Electro Shot at all. It's a, it's a set where we are just really bulky. We have Body Press, Breaking Snarl, Swipe, Heavy Slam. Heavy slam just to hit stuff with stab, body press because we get the stamina boost, breaking swipe to lower the attack stat of the opponents, and snarl so that we can um, snarl stuff down, right? Lower the special attack stats as well. And then the Amoongus to help redirect and keep it alive, right? Um, if I could change anything, I'd maybe add protect on this Amoongus. Sludge Bomb is really good, and I prefer Sludge Bomb over protect. But for, for this challenge specifically, I think I would have rather had protect. And I think on this back's caliber, which I ended up adding last minute to hit opposing grass types. Uh, which were giving us a little bit of trouble like i'm, I'm holding a moon just kind of give us a little bit of issue if i can't oko it with like a wicked blow or anything like that or if i saw or if they uh, have terra grass pokemon that kind of wall out the moon gets a little bit well sludge bomb helps but having an ice type also helps um i think for this i would have maybe lock swords nets to get extra boost and then on those priority ice charts so i think i would have considered that as well because i'm not walled by um for draft because i have tinkaton so I could just fake out through Moldbreaker anyway, and I could just wicked blow it. If they pop Terra, I can to Gigaton hammer it if it's fairy, right? So I'm not walled by uh, Fridge Ref at all. Um, anyhow, that is the team. Um, for lastly, there's one really long battle in it that's going to be at the end. So the first ones will be quicker, and that last one is really long. So strap yourself in. It's a, it's a moon. It's a Incineroar Porygon too. So you guys know how that goes. Anyway, I'm done blabbing. See you guys in the first match. This hasty, like uh, the hasty I know. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna leave this. You know what, actually, it's probably just a Tornadus and Ursh on the lead. Just go for it right on the lead. Um, Then I can bring this in and then who do I want in the back? I think I need the Amoongus just in case. This is kind of fine, right? Gonna air slash right there. Just wicked blow into this. Yeah, they could like Terra Fairy, but like if they pop their Terra now, right? Then I can just switch into the, uh, what you call it next turn. And I should be just fine. Because if they're doing this, they're either clicking follow me or they're probably like dazzling or something. But it's not the end of the world. I can handle this. So that should be a flinch. Yep, that's always going to be a flinch because I am the flinch man. But we take this, right? Because we're Sash, so it's, so it's not the end of the world at all. Um, I think I could just Air Slash again. I don't know if they want a Wicked Blow or if they want a close combat. But I think Amoonga switching it is very safe. That's good damage into the Yadidi. That's really good damage. Oh, that's a berry? That's a freaking berry? Amoongus eats this up like Cocoa Puffs. I don't know what the item is though. Um, Was there a thing guys? Was there a, a, a seed proc? I don't recall there being a seed proc. I'm gonna spore the Ndidi. 
Hopefully it just protects or something. Just don't be goggles. Please don't be goggles. Please don't be goggles. We're really bulky, so we live this. Tornadus is gonna switch out here into this. And in case they want to do something like switch, I'm just going to spore into that spot as well. I think this is what I want to do because they could like protect that spot. They could very well protect it, right? And if they protect it, then um, they can go for a close combat next. But I don't want to get close combat it. You know what? Wait a second. Didn't I keep my, um, didn't I keep my Terra? I think snarl is fine and then rage powder is cool because what can they do they can wicked blow but then it'll proc my berry so and then indeed he just doesn't have any moves that can kill me right well it could have psychic is it oh just follow me follow me is fine i'm like why is it so fast <laughs> i was like what is it gonna do <laughs> it's so fast so let's see what they go for here Close combat is perfect. That's what we like to see. And now it depends on what their back mines are, right? I just need this the double snarl to hit. Please just hit me double snarl. Okay, perfect. So now the Ndidi has no damage and the Urchifu's gone. I took a lot of health to break this, but it was a good lead. I, I wasn't ready for it. Now the terrain is also gone, which is really nice. And the terrors pop, so they don't have like a weird terror ground, terror blast, or like a weird terror fighting, or like terror dragon or something crazy. So because, because of that, I kind of just want to snarl. In Terra Water. In Spore. I gotta check my stamina boost because I don't want to, um, I do not want to not have the damage output to kind of win this game, right? I think this is a fine play, right? But now the tornado goes to sleep. And if they go for E Force here, what's my um I have no stamina boost yet. That's crazy. I'm just gonna body press here. And spore into this spot. I'll have a plus one, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, we know what's coming, but like what's the what's the what's the worst that could happen, right? Cause Psyche just doesn't do any damage to me at all. Come on, Amoogish, show me what you got. I died. We lost the Amoogish, but the Archalodon is alive. And that's kind of all that matters. Now we're going to kill the Ndidi so there's no more redirection shenanigans and then we'll have tailwind up so urshifu will just clean up the game gg's well played to hasty but i think this one is over my friend i think this one is over i'm so sorry oh my goodness i know you oh man side spam is so rough for our child on because this is not going to do anything bro i kill this so there's no more redirection I'm 
my tornadoes goes down, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Ooh, that did a lot more than it should have. That helping hand matters. <laughs> I did more than I thought it was gonna do. That helping hand mattered so much. Tornadoes didn't take any sleep turns though. It just switched that right away. So Urshifu comes back. Wicked Blow kills that thing, but I'm gonna Wicked Blow and Snarl just to be safe. Reliable partner. Oh, this is a, a very friendly Torn. I need to I need to put the uh, the meme that I drew of Urshifu with the Wicked Blow. I need to put that on screen like right now. Is this about to happen? Um, as you see, I'm not sure what their plan is, but the Tornadus took no turns of sleep, so it can't do anything right now. They can't click like see, it's fat. It's sleep. They took no turn. You switch it out on turn one. So we kill that. That thing's gone. And then we snarl this. So with damage output is even worse. Um, then we can just heavy slam sucker punch, I think, right? Cause now it can wake up and I don't want to deal with any shenanigans. Um, yeah, we just heavy slam. And I think we just sucker just to be safe. We just want to get this damage rolling and get this match over with. And then heavy slam should pick up from here. Oh, we're just faster, right? Yeah, we're, we're both just faster. Um, I don't know why I clicked sucker then. <laughs> I forgot Tailwind was up. <laughs> we're just faster. Shout out to Hasty, the homie. All right, so how do I want to play this, right? Um, I think my fake out here is fine. Cause my fake out will be faster than their fake out. And then how do I want to play it after that point? No, I'm just going to go wicked blow. Um, and then what I want to have in the back, do I need this? Are they water Ursh? Doesn't matter. We have what we need. Let's go for it. Show me hit on top. Yeah, let's blow up their tornadoes here. Yeah, let's blow up the tornadoes. Yeah, that's what I want to do because once I blow it up, it forces something else into the field. Um, I'm hoping that what they go for here is like a, is just a um, a bleak win and not like a tailwind because then it creates a crazy situation. Show me Terra Ghost. Show me Terra Ghost. Just Terra Water. I think that's fine too because we can beat that. We can uh, we can beat Terra Water. Why do Terra if you're just going for a protect? Why do Terra if you're going for a protect? So we blow that up. Um, <laughs> what do I have in the back? Bax Caliber and Amunga. So I have to be very careful with my Bax Caliber. Huh, that's interesting. It's not a flutter main here. Is this like a does this intimidate uh does this thing have like some kind of weird intimidate tech or something? I'm gonna knock off here. And just switch into the Amoongus. Is it feels very safe? Might as well knock off is it gonna do that much, but if they're a sash, it'll break it. If they're a boosting item, it'll release release that, which matters a lot to their damage. We take these, we take these every day of the week. Close combat. Oh, that's not gonna help you that much. So I'm definitely gonna knock off now. Um, they have tailwind up, right? Yeah, so I can't encore them. I can spore this spot. C cover both sides of the field. I was thinking about sporing the Urshifu spot, but they might just protect, right? And then I just get nothing. Like protecting doesn't granted, protecting is still a win for me because they get no damage and they also get a um a wasted turn of tailwind. But if they want to uh, do that, it's fine. But I just want to put something to sleep. This hit on top could be annoying too. Two fighting types versus my Dark Hurst could be very annoying. Oh, this is good. Could I get something else on the spore? This is why I split it. I wanted to catch the flutter main with the uh, hammer though. This doesn't KO anyone. 
<laughs> Take a ton. Takes. That, that, that second one was such a high roll, dog. Oh, that second one was such a high roll. I take that. I take Mystic Water. I know I have that calc, bro. I know I have that calc, bro. I think Rage Powder is okay here. Numb. But getting rid of the Flutter feels like very, very good. I think I'm gonna Ice Wobble Crash this. Does Rage Powder away anything that Water Earth wants to do? It stayed in. Staying in is interesting. But no, this is my line here is I kill the Flutter. Their Urshifu is minus two, right? I proc my berry. I, yeah, I kill the Flutter. Either, if, either I kill it in Icicle Crash one hit or Icicle Crash Ice Shard kills it, right? And then I won't Rage Powder next turn. I was gonna put the um, Urshifu to sleep. Unless they have this. But also, no, this is the next part of my statement, right? Yes, they can like fake me out or whatever. Um. But then I'm just gonna put them to sleep. <laughs> the next turn, or no, I'll rage by the next turn, and then I'll wicked blow their uh, their Urshifu. Yeah, simple, very simple stuff. I'll try to glaive rush this if I can, and I'll click rage powder if they let me. Minus one glaive rush doesn't matter at this point. They let me click it, so you get nothing this turn. <laughs> you get nothing. You let me click it. Amoongus is so fat. <laughs> Amoongus is so fat, dog. And nothing that the, um, what you call it can do here can KO me. Glaive Rush is fine. Just Rage Powder. Mock Punch, if they have it, isn't enough. They're so fast. Actually, no, I'm just not, I don't have any speed. I have a little tiny bit of speed, but not, not enough to outspeed an Urshifu. I'm trolling myself. Even if they had no speed, they would be outspeeding me. I just need this Glaive Rush to go off. There we go. That's all we needed right here. So that thing's dead, so we just win. Yes, we just, I think we just win. Wait, cause they can like close combat here. No, but if they close combat here, my close combat kills them. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> If they close combat here, my close combat kills them. We're good. <laughs> I just have to make sure. That Tinkaton thing, though, man, I count for specifically for that, bro. Oh, they have to be Mystic Water for that to kill me, I think. Um, let me see. Urshifu. Uh, Scarf Set, which is an, usually the adamant. On the Nerdic, the Nerder Now joint. Uh, Tinkaton. Blank Set. I think I had like 252. Let me just win this battle real quick for you guys. Easy dubs. Not easy at all. I, I, I'm playing game. It wasn't easy. They played super well. Uh, bold? No, nope, that's bashful. I'm not, well, I'm not bold. I'm like impish, impish. But it's the same thing. It boosts defense. Yeah. If they Terra Water, Surging Strikes, Adamant, then they only do 87% max to me. And I was higher than that. So they had to be uh, Mystic Water. That's pretty insane. I'm like, and that's still supposed to have lived. That middle one of the two strikes, the two number two strikes out of one and three, that, sh that was a high, high roll. All right. I don't know what kind of stuff they want to go for here. Um, It's Trick Room stuff, clearly, though, right? I can handle Trick Room, though. Um, I think in order to handle the Trick Room, I think I want to have the... How do they beat this? How do they beat our Chalodon? That's interesting. How do they beat our Chalodon? Um, I'm going to start off with Tinkaton. Or Shifu, but I'm definitely gonna have our Chalodon plus Amoongus. Like, definitely gonna have those. Okay, so they want Trick Room up.
gonna fake them out here um i'm just gonna protect to preserve my sash and then i'm just gonna encore that incineroar into into uh fake out next turn Are they going for Terra Poison? Terra Ghost? Terra Ghost is a little bit crazy. But also, like, you wasted your Terra there, right? That is a very bulky Incineroar. I ain't never seen an Incineroar that bulky in my life. In my life. But it's still okay. Like there's nothing they can really do. They have to be like, um, they have to be goggles and they can't be goggles if doing that much damage. I'm way too physically bulky for that to have KO'd. They could switch into their uh, psychic type mind, but I just don't know how much that helps them in this situation. Cause I'm gonna get a sleep on the Incin and I'm gonna knock out the Porygon too. Um, and then after that, I'm not exactly, well actually I don't know if I knock out the Porygon too. I can't even say that with certainty, right? Because it's so bulky. It's Protect Incineroar. Are you gonna click Psychic? It's Protect Incineroar. That's pretty insane. Try attack is fine because it doesn't bring me, it doesn't bring me down to Sash. They do survive. Yeah, this is safe. This is safe because they're going to go into what? The, um, Reuniclus? So, the, yeah, so they want to avoid the Spore, which is respectable. But I still wanted to keep them, um, what is it going for? They're not even the, the, the move. Are they going for Trick Room again? Oh, you sold. You sold so hard. You sold. You sold mad hard. You sold so hard. I know you thought you were making like a big brain play, but that was like the littlest brain I have ever seen in my life. Now you just go to sleep. Now you just go to sleep. Reunicus is asleep, Reunicus dies. Now we just need to look at the, um, at the what? The, uh, turn to trick room. We need to look at the turn to trick room and see what our next move is because we need to plan around that, right? If it's like two turns, I'm probably gonna make a switch here and protect and then switch back out or something like that. Gastrodon. I just said, check your turn to trick room, right? Uh, one turn to trick room. So it's very safe here to spore into this and to just like protect because then I can switch on the fake on next turn, right? Amoongus Urshifu, baby. <laughs> Ain't no breaking these two. <laughs> Porygon woke up. This is why you click protect. Okay, so we definitely killed this time. I'm just gonna um side pollen puff here. And that's the uh incineroar coming in. Nah, I'm just gonna wicked blow. It's fine. I don't need to worry about the incineroar coming in. Because I'll just switch out into my Chalodon, and there's nothing they can do at that point. So now I get the pollen puff, the side pollen puff healing.
That is so much, actually. That actually does so much. It's a berry. That matters. That berry matters. But the health I'm going to recover here. I got a one turn wake. That's crazy. They really got that one turn wake. That's insane. I think protect here is fine. Yeah, protect here is fine. Because I want to see if they fake out the Amoongus or Flip Blitz it. Or Ice Beam it, right? Or maybe they fake out into the Urshifu when they Ice Beam the, um, the, the, uh, Amoongus spot. I, why am I brain fogged up right now? Maybe because it's so late at night playing this stuff. But well, we take these. We take these every day of the week. That is a lot. That Amoongus is so, sh I mean, that Incineroar is so strong. I wonder how fast they are. All right, so now I can body press into this. Finally pop my Terra. Get a lot of damage down on this Gastrodon. That is like 252 Adamant Incineroar. I haven't seen damage out of Incineroar like that in a long time. Like, I don't have any, like, physical defense invested on this Archaladon. But, like, I do have a ton of HP. I think I'm, like, close to max HP. Um... No, I'm not max HP, but his defense is 130, right? So I have like 187 stat for HP and a 151 stat for defense. Like that should not be doing that much. Even at neutral. At least I'm not a two-way KO though, right? But, but that's, that's his insane damage. We should be faster though, so this body fresh should KO them from this range for sure. I don't know if we KO the Gastrodon here. Yeah, I, I didn't think we did. Gastrodon's pretty fat. Why is it so fast, bro? <laughs> Why is it so fast? 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 Like, do you... What's my speed stat? Oh my, my child is 109 speed. Is that like Jolly Max Speed Incineroar, dude? There's, can Incineroar even get to, to 110? You have to be almost, you have to be max speed adamant to get that kind of speed. That is the most jank, cringe thing I've ever seen in my life. Like ever. gonna snarl them inside puff and that's how you want to play it that's how you want to play it we can play it like that y'all want to play jank nope nope give my berry Give my berry. Give my health back too. This is where some of the concepts of the team started from, right? Was uh, the Archaladon being able to re reduce all the damage um, and then the Incineroar being able to just like heal it up. So now that you're minus one, you're gonna be minus two. Show me your Incineroar coming in here so I can spore it. Switch out that Porygon. We take these. We take these every day of the week. He's fishing for tri attack status conditions because he's not actually uh, going to be able to win without nonsense like that. Of course, we missed the snarl. Of course. And now he's going to get like a paralysis or a freeze or something because that's just how the game treats me. It's actually going to be safer to breaking swipe in case the Incineroar comes in here. Um, 
Let's go ahead and spore. Paragon 2 is fast asleep. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I just snarl them down. How many defense boosts do I have? I have one, so that's that's plenty actually. Um gonna body price here just to get this thing no it has to take a turn of sleep so yeah it has to take a turn of sleep it has to take a turn Gash was sleeping. That is nothing. That's absolutely nothing. Let's just go for the spore. Oh no, let's go for the spore into that spot. Let's be safe. I knew it was gonna be some jank. I knew it was gonna be some jank. I knew it was gonna be some jank. They both wake up. Thank goodness. That's mad jank, son. That's so jank. That's so friggin' jank that, that they both woke up on the same turn. All right, so now we gotta just go ahead and kill it, right? Just start chipping this thing down. That thing's gonna be annoying with um with recover. So we gotta get the incinerator on the field. The Incineroar can only fake out one of us, so I'm gonna kill it this turn for sure. I'm gonna kill the Incineroar this turn because they're gonna have to fake out the Amoongus or they're gonna have to eat the Spore. And I don't think they wanna eat the Spore. I probably should have gotten the Incineroar on the field much sooner so I could just take care of it and then start dealing with the Porygon 1v1. It has protect and I forgot. Instead of instead of going for the fake out, it goes for that, which is pretty insane, bro. This is where I kind of wish I had protect on the moon because I would protect it right now. Nice side puff. Yeah, good side puff. <laughs> side puff is fine. Because they could have just attacked that spot. And now you gotta play this long, slow end game against this P2. Let me see how much snarl does to them. Oh my god, they're gonna recover me. Oh, I do this. I do this. There is more recovery. I have seven left. I have more than enough. Um, I have more than enough. I want to play that way. They have a fish. They have a fish. They have a fish. They get it, of course. That's how the Pokemon likes to treat me. I should have chilled them at a chance. They have to recover. They need to take a picture of that. See how low it is. It's not easy to take care of. They're gonna load the mice for sure. They can find a ball. Did my health even move? Did my health even move? Oh, so let's go first. 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 Let's go first.
Oh, my God. I'm so upset. 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 I'm so I'm gonna get 60. This is a natural right now. Let's go. Can I get crit? Your time is 3:05. They have two minutes of time. So I'm gonna waste my clock and see basically what their timer is at. Once I um see what the timer is at, once I get down to the, to the bottom. Actually, don't let me see. They're gonna be quickly, right? <laughs> you know what? My time is I feel like it's longer than um than the time they have left. Then like the gamer timer. 60 seconds. Alright, let's go. They got so much back from that. I think it's the time to right here. Yeah, because I have too much time. And battle yeah. Let me take this. So, um, that's the last battle of this video for sure. That's going on 21 minutes. And that's one game. Imagine we're at a regional. Oh, Knoxville is this weekend. People are going to be bringing Incin, Porygon, and whatever, and Amoongus and stuff, right? A lot of people are going to be bringing that. 20 minute games. Imagine the games are going to be like 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and then this game through another 20 minutes, 60 minute games. The rounds are basically to give you like an hour for each. Each round is going to be going to timer, basically. Like, that's not insane. Like, that's not insane to y'all. Like, each round going to timer. Like, take that L, bozo. But yeah, good luck in this weekend in uh, Knoxville if you bring in that team because it's going to take forever to get through the day. <laughs> I hope the uh, tournament committee is there and making sure everything is running smoothly because if there's any delays, you guys are going to be there till midnight. Anyway, what is the funniest uh, global challenge check either that you heard of, you've seen yourself, faced, whatever? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, click like.